Here's our tropical outlook. Two new tropical storms. We have Peter outside of the Caribbean Sea and Rose not too far from Africa, and both of these are forecast to stay mostly outside of land areas. So we're expecting Peter to get maybe not too far from some of these extreme northeastern uh, Caribbean islands before it makes its turn to the north. And then Rose is heading north early in the game and probably will never even make it close to our side of the Atlantic. So these are two storms that are not threats to us in South Louisiana. Quick look at Peter, by the way, with its curve off to the north. You can see they're happening Wednesday and into Thursday and Friday. That, of course, is the closer of the two to us. But again, no threats. Looking at hurricane season so far, we've had, with Rose, 17 named storms, six hurricanes, Three of those became major hurricanes. And I just wanted to point out the average, the 30 year average is 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. So I'm looking at our numbers and I'm thinking, yeah, are we done yet? Can we just call it quits? In fact, this season's forecast, this was the one from August, was for a total of 15 to 21. We're there. 17, or excuse me, seven to 10 hurricanes. We're there. And three to five major. So Again, if I could um, make the decisions here, I would say, you know what? We filled out our numbers. Let's go home. But uh, unfortunately, it looks like we might have a few more since we're not uh, at the end of the season yet. So the next names are Sam, Teresa, Victor, and Wanda. And I'm really hoping that we just keep crossing out those few and we don't have to go to that next supplementary list. And uh, hopefully we can wrap it up pretty soon. And these cold fronts, of course, are good for our area, too, because they tend to shield us from anything tropical, even if we did have a little something eventually in the Gulf. But nothing like that on the horizon for now. We're looking quiet, and I do hope you enjoy that cold front moving in strangely on the very first day of fall.